What is going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and I'm really sick, so I apologize for my voice being seven different types of stupid right now, but I don't know what's up with me. I think I got like strep or something like that and it's really bad, but uh and I also apologize for me wearing my robe, but you know, when you're sick all you want to do is be wrapped up in something that's warm and fuzzy and that's me right now, so I do greatly apologize for that. Um but I'm not gonna make this very long like my normal team builders because of course, my throat hurts really, really badly. Um, so I'm going up against Cast in the Sky and the Boston Breloons, who's, uh, this is their team. That's their team right there on the screen. Victini, Shaman, Rotom Wash, Gardevoir, Donphan, Tyrantra, Mega Agron, Drapion, Ambipom, and Dusk Noir. Very threatening team. It's, it's going to be very difficult for me to build for it. However, I think I've come up with a pretty cool team for it. So I'm, I'm just going to hop right into it. And uh, I'm going to start off with my Houndoom set. My Houndoom set is very, very weird. I also have new graphics this week, so I did try to make these myself. I mean, I feel like these more than the other ones. If so, I'll probably keep them around. But my Houndoom set's very, very weird. It's a defensive Houndoom. The reason why it's defensive is because if he's running a Choice Scarf Victini, he can't 3-hit KO me. I can Pursuit Trap it. I can Dark Pulse it all out speed it after one, uh, one speed drop. Not if he's Scarf, but if he's any other... Uh, item outspeed after one speed drop. I can also sucker punch it if it's like me versus him and he outspeeds and he's locked into like bolt strike or something. Whenever he's switching out, pursuit does about 56%. So that's really nice because I think he'll lead off with Victini versus my team. He'll either lead off with Victini or Shaman. One of the two, I'm not sure which. Hold on one second, I need a drink. Again, I'm really sorry about all this. Oh man, my throat hurts so bad. So. I'm also running a lax nature because I don't want to uh, decrease either one of my attacks. And I don't want to decrease my speed, otherwise I won't outspeed Victini. Uh, I'm not really meant to take special hits anyway. It's just physical hits. Um, this also can take hits from uh, Dusk Noir pretty well if he's not packing Earthquake. But uh, yeah, so... Man, I'm really sorry that I have to be this sick and make this video, but it's whatever. I attempt, I thought about having somebody else do it for me, but I was like, no, I, I need to do it myself so you guys know my thought process. But that's basically Houndoom. They're literally just to take on Victini. What this also does is this allows me to have something that can, like, um, if I get speed control on something like Shaman, Gardevoir, if I get speed control on Donphan, or uh, not Donphan, Tyrantrum, or uh, Drapion, I can also hit him really, really hard with a uh, with a flamethrower, so that's really, really beneficial. And it's going to be something that's honestly there just to take on Victini. Uh, U-turns don't do a whole lot to me. I also have Wish Support later on to help with that, so I'm not really too, too worried about not having a reliable recovery either. But you know, Pursuit Trapping that Victini is my number one priority with, with Houndoom. It'll really limit his switch-ins, especially if I have rocks up. So uh, that's going to be my Houndoom set. Uh, the next one on the list that I have is actually my Sand Slash because it's going to be basically the exact same Sand Slash except this one is Stealth Rocks over Rock Slide. Um, I needed something that could help take on Tyrantrum because Dragon Dance Tyrantrum really does sweep my team. It destroys me 110%. This can take a plus one Outrage. You can go for Earthquake, it does about 67% minimum, so that's really nice. If I have uh, prior damage with anything, that's what this is for. This is also there to keep uh, rocks off my side of the field, so uh, Houndoom doesn't get hurt too, too badly, because, you know, 25% sucks. But, yeah, that's about it with this guy. It's very, very simple, mainly there. It also helps take on Drapion a little bit. If he wants to bring, like, Double Dance with Agility and Swords Dance, or just wants to bring Agility or just Swords Dance, this really helps with that. It helps scare him out. If he goes in a Rotom, it's really easy to predict, and I just go for a knockoff. Get rid of Leftovers or the Chester Berry, because I think it'll be bringing Resto Chester, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that's going to be uh, Sand Slash. Sand Slash is very, very key to this match. I need to keep it alive. I need to keep it very healthy in case Tarantrum does set up on me late game. I can't have it set up on me. I, I literally just can't. But yeah, that's going to be Sand Slash. And then the third Mon that I'm bringing is actually the first time that Verizion has ever come to a match for me, but... This Verizion set is very, very key because his wall core of Rotom Wash and Mega Agron is very, very, very good. It's very, very stupid, strong, and very stupid bulky. However, what I can do is uh, I can actually 2KO both of them. If he's uh, actually, it does 49% minimum, 
which takes up to an 86% to a KO range with Giga Drain on his Rotom Wash. Uh, Focus Blast does about 67% uh, minimum. Uh, like, a lot of my team does about 67% to his with one hit, so that's really, really nice. Um, this also is there because it can also outspeed all of his base 100s, like Victini if he's not scarfed, which, uh, I'm running Tim in Nature with Stone Edge. The reason why I wanted to run Tim is because I don't want to decrease either one of my defenses. This thing is frail enough as it is on the physical side. I don't need it any more frail, and Stone Edge still does about, like, 46% minimum. So that's that's really all about all I need to, uh, like, if I Pursuit Trap it, and then I can Stone Edge it, and it's dead, especially if I have Rocks up, so that's really, really nice. Uh, Focus Blast also it's a lot of his team. For neutral, really hard damage like Shaman doesn't appreciate it. Uh, uh, Don Fan is easily taken out by Giga Drain. Uh, Tyrantrum doesn't like Focus Blast. I outspeed naturally too. Drapion takes Focus Blast neutrally, so it's not very, uh, it's not a very good switch in to be honest with you. Uh, and Dust Noir can kind of switch in pretty freely, but uh, his Ambi Palm kind of worries me because Ambi Palm just if he's like Choice Banded out, so he's my entire team and it just hits really hard. Um, but that's why I have a lot of physical bulk on this team, and I also have a lot of I have a sucker punch on Mega Hound Doom, so I think that'll be very very good. However, this uh, this takes on his team very very well. Two AK is a lot of it. Two AK is a lot of it. It is my massive win condition. My main win condition is Barizion. So let me go ahead and get that off the screen. Let me go down here, and I'm really sorry. I'm so unprofessional, but I have to I have to get this video out. I'm so sorry. Um, so. The next mod that I'm going to be going over is going to be my Gudra set. Uh, this Gudra set is to help me also take on Victini. It also helps me take on Shaman because Shaman is a very huge threat. I'm really considering changing his ability, which I don't have on there right now. Uh, I've been doing a lot of practice and I've had GUI. But I'm really considering changing it to Sap Sipper so he can't just spam Seed Flare. I'm really, really considering it. But um, another really cool thing about this uh, Gudra set that say I have this thing in on uh, Rotom Wash and Rotom Wash goes for Volt Switch as I go for Draco he takes a lot of damage and he goes in Tyrantrum he thinks he can set up a Dragon Dance and scare me out but a minus two Draco still one shots a uh, Tyrantrum so that's that's really really nice to have I'm hoping I can catch him on that at least once like I mean if I catch him on that I can only catch him on it once like I'm really sick <laughs> excuse me um but that's the Gudra set. It really just takes on a lot of his. It, it bulks out a lot of his team. Victini's V Create does about 30% if he's banded. Uh, like, it does about 37% or so, which is really, really good. I can just hit it with a Draco and it does a lot. Uh, Shaman doesn't really appreciate Fire Blast, Ice Beams, or Sludge Waves. Gardevoir doesn't appreciate Sludge Waves. Donovan doesn't like Dracos, neither does Tyrantrum. Mega Aggron can come in pretty freely, because even though Fire Blast is super effective, if he's specially defensive, it doesn't hurt it very much whatsoever. Um, Drapion also doesn't really like it that much. If he's a Salt Vested, he can take Dracos a little bit easier, but that's about it. Also, uh, Dustin Rod doesn't really like it all that much, unless he's like a Salt Vested or a lot of special defense, because it has really high base special defense and defense, base 100s, so... That's Gudra. I really, really like this set with Gudra. Really, it'll do a lot of work this match. I feel, it'll do a lot of work. The next mod on my team that I'm gonna be bringing in is a specially defensive Jirachi. This thing is there just a wall board and wash. Otherwise, I can have a field day on my team. It, uh, it just it plows through my team. It does a lot, a lot of work. And I'm really scared of Rotom Wash to be honest. It's probably the one thing that I'm most scared of. But having speed control versus this team is very, very, very important. If I can uh, find a way, Victini, uh, Gardevoir. Tyrantrum, Drapion, Ambipom, like there's so much that I could uh, Thunder Wave and make it very useful. I also have Wish there, just so I can, uh, just so I can self recover a little bit. You can also uh, heal the rest of my team because only one thing has a reliable recovery. Uh, also, U-turn gain initiative if I am Thunder Waved. Like if he Thunder Waves me with Random Wash, I get up a Wish. I can U-turn out of there after I take a Volt Switch or something like that. Get a good matchup, things like that. It'll be very very good. I'm using I'm kind of thinking of it as a as like a baton pass on an evolution type of thing so I think that'll be very very helpful uh, I really like this set it just it really helps wall his team a lot uh, but yeah that's Jirachi and then the final mod on my team is my Lodic now my Lodic it's very very it's something that I'm just I'm, I'm having it here so I can whittle his team down if I can whittle his team down enough uh, Verizian can actually sweep his entire team 
So that's really, really nice for me to have. Um, so if I have this thing here to get toxic off on things like Rotom Wash, uh, Scald Burn, things like Shaman, even though it has uh, Natural Cure, if I can Scald Burn, Tyrantrum, or Mega Aggron, things like that, a lot of these uh, statuses could come in very handy, which I'm really looking to do. Um, another thing that I want this thing to do is I kind of want it to be there to kind of sort of gain me control, because once I have my lot again, he has to go into Rotom. If I can figure out his pattern on what he wants to do, like if he wants to go for Volt Switches against my Milotic, I can get in Sand Slash, he's going to go for Hydro Pumps, then I have a Free Switch and a Verizion, and I get a lot of damage off on it. So that's that's my thought process with that. My main key is to get Verizion in for free. I get a lot of damage off, I can get it out of there and chip him down a little bit more, send it back in, and destroy. So that's really what my whole entire goal is. But uh, that's basically the team very very similar to the teams that I brought before but I'm so sick I haven't really had time to do a whole lot with it uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be on Wi-Fi or Showdown yet I haven't had a chance to gem my mods we battle tomorrow so that's a thing but uh, but yeah so I'm a little nervous about this match I've uh, had a lot of ups and downs in practice with it I also really am scared of uh, Victini Shaman Rotom it's a very good fire water grass where I did a very good job drafting um, but that's about it. Let me know what you guys think about the graphics down below. Also, let me know what you guys think <laughs> just about this whole matchup. And I'm really sorry that I have to record this sick, but I just I have to get it out. And uh, yeah, hope you guys look forward to the battle uh, on Wednesday. Make sure you leave a like on this. Uh, hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will see you guys at the battle. Bye. Okay, so I know I already ended the video technically. However, this is the next night, and after playing a little bit, we didn't battle today. Um, but after thinking about it, and after looking at my sets and stuff like that, there was a Houndoom set that I would have been okay with bringing. I'm not sure what I'm going to bring just yet. I'm basically going to decide it right before the battle, because I'm kind of torn. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of stuck with this. But this is the other possible Houndoom set I could bring. The exact same four moves, but a different spread, with enough speed to outspeed base 100s after Mega Evolving. And uh, 112 in attack allows me to do 56% minimum with a per. Or, I forget exactly what the exact calc is, but it allows me to do a lot more damage with Pursuit on Victini whenever he switches out. And if he like stays in after defense drop, uh, Sucker Punch or Pursuit will then kill it afterwards, whichever I go for. So that's going to be the only change that might happen in the battle but I'll definitely let you guys know in the battle what uh, what I did go for but I kind of wanted to throw this up on the screen real quick and let you guys know what could possibly be happening because I don't want to get into the battle tomorrow and me potentially bring this set and just be like oh yeah by the way I'm bringing a completely different Houndoom than the one that I mentioned in the team builder so I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up but yeah now that's actually it <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like down below also leave comments and things of that nature Look out for the battle on Wednesday. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.